Hey everyone, Rob here. We got some more updates on a couple of earthquakes, got some updates on the possible eruption, which, you know, kind of hint, hint, it looks like it's not going to happen, but it might be a little bit early to say that. But we are going to start with Hecla because just actually moments ago, there were a series of earthquakes that occurred in, in the Vatnafet uh, by Hecla. <laughs> And uh, it was six earthquakes that occurred in the area between 4 o'clock, well, 404 and uh, 411. So the largest was 3.5 of magnitude in size, and then there was a 3.2 and a 3.0. So if we take a look at the map here, we can see the location of that in relation to all of Iceland. Um, we got Fagrasfet over here in this little cluster here. There's a little bit of activity going on, but nothing too serious. We have Grimsvat over here with this cluster underneath this giant glacier here. And then in between both of these, we have the area where Hecla is. And we can see that bright green star there. And you can see also here some of the charts. But if we go into the table, because I think that's what everyone kind of likes. We look at the magnitude of three and larger. Open that up. We can see that today you can see the times and where they are in the depth. Um, they're, they're still underneath quite a ways, but the magnitude is pretty high. And I know that we've talked a lot about this before because there is some uncertainty as to what's actually going on. If we remember a past video that I created in the news, and this is from MBF, there was saying that there was some drought happening in some of the springs and fissures in this area. Um, and they're saying, you know, it usually does happen, but because of the seismic activity, and the increased overheating that is going on in Hecla, they think that this might be a precursor to an eruption in this area. And I know that everyone's kind of saying eruption here and eruption there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's Iceland. I think there's uh, more active volcanoes here than uh, most other places in the world. So it, it's, not, it's not really unlikely that something's going to happen. This one here, it's been ready to go for a while. We got Grimsvat, and that's, been, that's ready to go because it erupts every 10 years. And then, of course, uh, Fagrasfelt, which is um, technically, I think they've said it's over. There's no uh, warnings for the area currently. But as you can see, if we go into the Reykjanes Peninsula, uh, there's still some seismic activity around there, but not much at all. And it's all fairly calm for the most part. Some other big news, though, that's going on is uh, if we take a look at the homepage of the Icelandic Meteorological Office, we can see at the top here that there is no longer a warning of, about the glacial flooding that's going on in uh, Grimsvat, in, in sort of the Grimsvat area. They said that uh, they feel like it's kind of done, and they updated this uh, at 4 50 and currently it's uh, 515 so this is breaking news if you're watching it right away one thing though is uh, even though that they say and this is from December 7th that there is a decreasing probability of the eruption they do have these uh, I hope I can say this right uh, caldera I think that's correct and they do have these and if we uh, take a look at this image uh, we'll see if we can get a better better look. So we have these here that they've started to notice in the area. And what this is typically showcasing is a large cauldron-like hollow that forms shortly after emptying of a magma chamber in a volcanic eruption. Now, we haven't had an eruption yet, so they're hoping to... Well, they were hoping to fly over today, but their report came out and they didn't mention anything about this. Uh, which is what I was waiting for, but perhaps tomorrow. But so they are taking a look and they're they're wondering why these are popping up because now there's two of them, I believe. And uh, it occurs when large volumes of magma are erupted over a short time and the structural support for the rock above is lost and it collapses. And actually, Wikipedia had a really great image of what actually occurs. Although, again, interestingly enough, there's been no eruption. So a lot of the information that I've I've seen regarding these have been a result of some sort of an eruption. Uh, and if we take a look at, let's see if we can play this. Oh, still image, now there we go. So we can take a look at this. We can see kind of in this anim animated video that uh, is from Wikipedia that shows what it is. Again, very strange that we are getting it now, even without an eruption. But perhaps in the comments, those of you that are in the know as to why this could be happening is it due to the glacial flooding 
you know, and and is there a lot of magma movement? We did have a lot of earthquakes in this area um, around the time of the glacial flooding. Nothing super crazy. Uh, there's definitely a lot more activity uh, that has sort of popped up over the uh, past 24 hours in the Hecla area. But uh, yeah, definitely something to keep an eye on. You can go to the Icelandic Meteorological Office and you can get some updates on here. And we can see here that they updated this one uh, in English on December the 8th. So you can always click and take a look and, and read what they've been saying regarding uh, any alerts that have come up. So interesting that they have these, uh, these sort of caledrons, caledrons, anyway. It's interesting that these have popped up because now there are two of them and no one knows why. So interesting. We do have some webcams of the Grimsvot area. Uh, these are still images that update every 10 minutes, roughly. And we can see here that it's going to be uh, 720 pretty soon, which means that the images will update and it will be an image from, uh, sorry, five, five, almost 520. And these will, images will update to say 510 at that time. You can see it's uh, one of the cameras uh, is blocked by some snow and things like that. And then the other one, you have all this sort of steam and everything like that. So we have that. And then we have these two charts in another live stream. Obviously, we have the height change, which nothing, nothing's really going on there. We can see uh, they kind of stopped updating it. And then on the left, we have the tremor reports. And we can see that that is also seeming to be settling down. Although these lines are... Uh, it's sort of getting thicker as they go and this purple one is kind of going up top and I know someone in the comments was saying something regarding the uh, purple frequency here overtaking the other ones could be a sign of something but all the scientists here are saying looks like nothing's really going to happen but they also did say that uh, anything's possible and they said you can't ever never say never because when Fagros felt erupted uh that very same night earlier, right before it did, there was a, a scientist that went on the news and said, it's not going to erupt. And then 20 minutes later, it did. Or maybe it was an hour. But anyway, these are all the these are all the latest updates on all this. I know it's been, uh, I think, a week or so since I did a update last. And I'm just waiting for some news rather than uh, filling your YouTube feed with uh, useless stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the, I guess, weekly recap now. If anything comes up, waiting on the news on why there are these crevices, sort of the sinking in Grimsvot, Grimsvot area. And uh, I will post on that when I get that. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.